All right, this uh, video was requested by Hunted Down 848. He wanted to see all my knives at once. I can tell you right now, this isn't all I have. Um, I got a couple boxes in the basement. Um, pretty hard to get to. I'm not gonna be able to get them today, though. This is just all the stuff I have in my room. Um, all right, bear with me. I'm gonna be trying to hold the camera with my left hand, so it might not be that stable. Bird crossbow. Partially serrated stainless steel handles. Spyderco native. Has a CPM S30V blade. FRN handles. Uh, Dura 4. Spyderco as well. VG10 blade. FRN handles. Cold steel tie light. Leave that as an OS 8A blade. Yeah, it does. Titel handles. Cold Steel Voyager. Um, this blade's actually. Let's see if I can get that. It's a VG1. Has Zytel handles as well. That's the 4 inch model. Same with the tie light, it's 4 inches as well. This is Tanto. Um, Benchmade uh, Pika. Original Pika. This is uh, partially serrated. The model on this one is 10400S. Uh, Benchmade monochrome, it's model 10300, plain edge. Oh, the blade, by the way, on this one's N690, frame lock. Um, this one is 440C. Uh, Benchmade mini griptilian, model 556. It's got a um, 154CM blade on this. Um, Kershaw needs work. The blade is, uh, I believe, Sandvix 13C26. Um, same with this one here. Kershaw Cyclone. Full size, uh, partially serrated with the black coated blade. This is the same steel. This one's model 1630BLKST. Um, I forgot to mention this one. This one's 1820. Kershaw Military Boot Knife. Right there. Uh, the model on this one is 4351. Here is a cheap fixed blade that I got very sharp. Sharpened it up. It's a Winchester. You used to be able to get these at Walmart. I don't know if they carry them anymore. Another Winchester fixed blade I got at Walmart. If I can get it out of there. This one's a little bit bigger. has a gut hook on it. This one came pretty sharp. I haven't used it or sharpened it. Uh, we'll go back here. Got the Buck 870, the Buck Bones. It's got a weird uh, tanto with a, kind of a weird thing like there. It's kind of cool though. Just ignore that. It's my phone ringing. I'll just let it go into voicemail. There's the Buck 119, or the Buck Special. It's model 119. The K-Bar Warthog. Um, can't open this up right now. I only have one hand to use, but the Victorinox Spartan I've I have full reviews on uh, most of these knives anyway, so just do a quick search on my channel. You'll probably be able to find most of them. Except for these next few, these switchblades. That's a shot shell puller, or a lever lock hunter as it's called. This one was made in Italy. There's a cheap ass uh, piece of shit switchblade. Piece of shit stiletto. You can see it has, uh, see if we can get the sun to glare that. See it has a nail neck, uh, they're not supposed to have that, it's kind of cheap. It's got some white handles. Here's an all steel, uh, straight razor. Steel handle, it's slip joint. Um, thought it was kind of cool, it was like four bucks and I was ordering some other stuff that day. So I bought it. It's really sharp. Gerber, uh, MP400. Compact uh, multi-tool. Have a full review if you want to see what's actually in there. 
tools wise. There's the sheath for it. And then here's a, a Gerber pair frame. I think it's the pair frame one that I trashed. Took my Dremel to it. Not finished yet, but trying to get the coating off. Tried sandpaper, but uh, the Dremel just seemed to work the best. So I'm probably going to go back to that, see if I can strip it all off. So, um, run a quick overview here for you guys. That's all the stuff I got right now. Um, sorry that I don't have all my crap, but I put most of it in the basement because it was just taking up too much space. So, um, actually I'll run over these one more time so you can just get a good look. I just want to apologize again for the shaky camera. Um, really sorry about that, but it's hard to use a tripod um, when you're trying to go across, you know, a whole bunch of knives. So um, there you go, man. Hope you liked the video. Uh, see you guys later.